she gets up there and she starts talking about how she was so broke. She had run prior to winning the role of DA. She had run for this judgeship and she lost. And she talked about how she had loaned her own campaign $50,000 and then she lost and her campaign allegedly paid back $8,000 of that loan to her, but that would have left her in the hole. So this was only in late 2018, almost 2019, which is three years before she allegedly has wads of cash, thousands and thousands sitting in her home. So we don't know where, where did that come from? Because you just told us you were almost and- $50,000 in debt to your old campaign. And now on top of that, Judge, there is an article out today talking about how, uh, this is the Georgia Star News, about how she did not comply, allegedly, with her reporting obligations on either one of those loans she made to her campaign. One for 19,000, she was late in reporting it, and then one for 30,000, which it appears, according to this piece, she has never reported at all. And yet she received a campaign repayment for 8,500. All of this could cause legal headaches for her and also just makes it sound implausible that she was all this money in debt to her campaign, that she owed five grand to the government in a tax lien. And yet we're supposed to believe she's got thousands and thousands of dollars in cash at her home that she just kept doling out to her lover who does have receipts for all the payments he made. Yes, and see, the other thing, too, the money she got from her 501K, that became taxable income that she did not report, did not pay taxes on. Now, That's the money she used to, to fund that, her campaign. Yeah, so she did not pay taxes on it, and it, she donated it to her campaign. That's not tax deductible either, so she's in a mess. So when you get the reimbursements for the campaign, the way it looks is she got the 50K out of the account. That's taxable. When she gets the various supposed repayments from the campaign, they add that on top. So well, you just mentioned, Counselor, the 8,500. So what we've got now is 58,500. Then you add the other. So it multiplies and you have a real life mess and none of that got reported and no taxes got paid. So that we know of that we know of that we know of. And um, how do we know this? She one told of the us dumbest moves. Yeah. One of the dumbest, dumb crook moves I have seen in a long time. And in 50 years of doing this since I got out of UCLA. Where Mr. Floyd, Attorney Floyd, went, I have seen few stunts this dumb. He's one of the other and special in, prosecutors. No, Mr. Floyd is her father. Oh, I'm her dad. Okay. John Floyd. I went okay, to school uh, with him. Okay, okay. And he was an aggressive, upfront guy. He was very articulate. He said he's had at least a thousand trials. I believe it. He showed it. But he couldn't help her because she's got a big mouth. And she is that kind of witness where it's like, give you an example. I had a client. He was a mechanic for a trucking firm. And we had proved his injury and. We had everything going. We looked like we were going to get a half million out of this thing. And any further questions? The judge asked. Uh, I said, no, sir. And the defense representing the country company said, no, sir. And the judge said, sir, you may step down. This fool stands up, takes one step, say, oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to tell everybody I got hurt before this happened. Oh, boy. <laughs> God, what did you just do? You didn't even tell me about that. Where did you <laughs> open your mouth? Silence is gold. This is you why know. you started off by saying... She should have taken the Fifth Amendment on some of these things and not felt the need to shoot her mouth off because she was getting herself in trouble. 
And she, she lied to the court on multiple occasions. You, she's inconsistent, and what she lies about is a lie, or it's not. And if it's not a lie, she's still in trouble because if she's telling the truth, she did not realize apparently what kind of hole she was putting her in. Mm -hmm. And if she was lying, she was telling the truth, but she contradicted herself. So now as an officer of the court, you have told a lie to the court and see, you know, counsel as an officer of the court, you represent that court. That's right. You have special standing. It's like, you go in and get certain drugs, it's class schedule. Well, schedule one, you're looking at 25 years in a federal penitentiary, but if your doctor prescribes it for you, you're okay. So it's like this with lawyers. You have a, a public trust factor. And then I did not mention this, but the worst part of this is remember this phrase, the appearance of an impropriety. In yeah. other words, as a lawyer, as a prosecutor, you're not just held uh, to account for doing something wrong. You are forbidden to give the appearance that you have, even if you did. So right. one way or the other, however we take what this woman did, it gives the appearance of an impropriety, which, by the way, is actionable by a bar committee. Discover a holistic wellness solution with Bond Charge, a brand dedicated to optimizing every aspect of your life. Grounded in science and inspired by nature, their evidence-based products cover a broad spectrum of premium wellness items. From enhancing sleep and performance to boosting energy, accelerating recovery, and balancing hormones, Bond Charge offers a diverse range of benefits. Consider the infrared sauna blanket from Bond Charge that they say can burn extra calories and detoxify. This innovative blanket elevates your heart rate, simulating the effects of physical exercise. Bond Charge says sweating during the process helps eliminate heavy metals and toxins from your body. Setting it up takes less than a minute and it rapidly heats up for a quick and convenient experience. For a limited time, save 15% by visiting bondcharge.com MK and use the coupon code MK. That's B-O-N-C-H-A-R-G-E dot com slash MK and use that coupon, coupon code MK to save yourself 15% off your order. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.